Here are five of the most overpriced commander cards in the entire format. Mana Vault. Outside of CDH, this isn't seeing much play, since in most decks, it's basically just a ritual. $61 is a lot to pay, even for an awesome mana rock. Grand Abolisher. What bugs me about this one is that you know the second this gets reprinted, it'll be $2. For now, you have to shell out $23 to stop interaction on your turn. Zakama Primal Calamity. $30? Whoa, I knew this was a popular commander with a fun creature type, but this feels more like a bulk mythic than monster money card. Crucible of Worlds. Land falling from your graveyard is useful to certain decks, and this card can be great, but $45, even after the reprint, feels bad. Vorinclex, Voice of Hunger. He got reprinted, but you can't keep a good Praetor down. Despite his clunkiness and mediocrity, Vorinclex will still run you $32. This is one I would avoid buying. Lastly, a quick bonus, Golos, Tireless Pilgrim, $7. This is ridiculously overpriced. He's not even legal in the four. Subscribe for more overpriced cards. Peace out, Tribe Scout.